All right, then I'll call the street for October the 1st, 2019. To order, please. Not here officially. No, only as a tax. Okay. Result of the agenda for the October 1st, 2019 regular meeting of council be approved. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Councillor Mantoni. All in favor? It's carried. <clears throat> Result of the minutes of the September 17th, 2019 regular meeting, council meeting and the September 24th, 2019 committee of a whole meeting be received and approved. Moved by Councillor Freeze and second by Councillor Mentoni. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. <clears throat> okay, we'll move right down to 6.1. Resolved that the notices of public hearing for application for conditional use and application for a variance order to be held on October the 8th, 2019 in the municipality of Swan Valley West Council Chamber Chambers be received as information. Moved by Councillor Lentoni, seconded by Councillor Gray. Discussion? All in favor? Councillor Gray, did you have a question? No, sorry. All in favor? It's carried. Okay, so we'll move on to 7.1. <clears throat> Result of the Superintendents of Works report be received. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Councillor Lentoni. Discussion or questions to Mr. Poole? Hmm? Uh, Councillor Morio. Um, I see here you're talking about like the back truck fence. Has that been replaced or is that just the, the consideration to come up? Uh, well, it, it needs to be replaced in order to, I guess, the procurement policy. It's a specialized piece of equipment, so it would be sole sourced, I guess. So I should be getting a resolution in the next okay. I don't think you need a resolution. I think that the policy mm -hmm. says that we're sole sourced and we made a determination it's less than a certain amount, and this is well less than that. That you go ahead and buy it as long as we have budget. I, mean, I could be wrong, but I think that's the procurement policy. Sorry, I mis I misinterpreted that. Isn't that is not that, isn't that I think there was actually it was sole source. That we ended up resolution. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I, but I could be wrong. I mean, well, you dropped it a thousand it. times now, right? Yeah. I, I, I can't remember, but I thought that there was a, a dollar amount. Well, I thought it said regardless of dollar amount, any sole source. Oh, it might is. You might be right. You might be right. Now that now that you say that. I remember those words. I don't have them in front of me, but I remember that. Should we should we look at that? Because it seems to me that where if there's something like this, it's a, a couple of thousand dollars. It's, it's I assume it's a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. That that what's the alternative? Like are we actually gonna vote against it? No. No, it's <coughs> the idea that sole sourcing should be council's decision rather than a director's decision, because a director can be called into question when sole sources have been. If you, I'm fine with it either way. I, I just, I think it should be reported, but I don't think. I think under a certain dollar, <laughs> we, what's the, we, we can bring that back for adjustment. I, 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 it's up to you guys. If, if, you, if you're happy with this, I'm happy with it, but it, I'd be happy as well for, you know, if you, if you need, I don't know, the GM trucks, spark plugs are changed. I, I don't actually think we really want to have a rest of it. If, if there is any modification that can be made, then maybe we can discuss that at Council of the Whole. Maybe yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Council, uh, Council Morio, is that everything? Yeah, that's it. Okay, Council White. Uh, regarding the wells, pump number three is currently running on a temporary power. What does that mean? Uh, basically, our, our hydro, our, our new MCCs, which run the new 600 volt pumps. <coughs> Hydro is looking into those, so we, we run a temporary wire to run the old pump still on the old uh, MCCs. So as the new hydro electrical fit up is getting set up, we need one pump to run on temporary power. So if one or two died, we could run three and hook up four right away and have the two running? That's right. Okay, thank you. We always have a backup. Yep, thank so you. What's the timeline for hydro? Councillor, sorry. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Poole, just in regards to, um, I, sorry, I lost my, so where is it? 
um, six Russell Drive, a floor replacement of sewerage collapse, so that that's all in place and taken care of, or scheduled, I should say. Scheduled, yeah. Everything's been approved. The locates have been ordered. Okay. Just um, in regards to that one, I know that there was a little bit of concern with that homeowner in regards to um, the time it took to follow or from breakage to follow up, and I'm just glad to see that it's scheduled and ready to go. Yeah. Thank you. Councillor Friesen and Councillor Gray. I just want to thank you for getting rid of this Jerry piece of permission. Thank you. You're welcome. Councillor Gray? And just follow up on Councillor White's question. I thought the last report we had on the well was that we were aiming to vote to get the hydro wind stuff. It's done. <laughs> uh, right now, right now that temporary pump is being used while we, we connect what we wanted to a new building. Okay. Yeah, I got it. So it's a couple of weeks. Yeah, and then once that's done, we can we can switch the other uh, the temporary to the temporary well. That motor is going to get switched to the six hundred volt, and then we'll only six hundred volt. Council White, the council would tell me the household hazardous waste area. It's done now. It's <laughs> complete. Yeah, we're just going to put some rock in there, make it look a little nice because it's a little dirty, but. And that scenario shouldn't happen again now that we're aware of it, it will get built up and... As long as we have somebody manning the, the depot, which we're required to have, yes. So... Do you we, get a final, final dollar figure on that cleanup? Uh, for 2019, it'll be 30000 uh, There'll be another bill coming in 2020. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Tony? In regards to um, Curry Road that didn't get Graded, it, we did, that you are scheduling greater time. Have we ever looked at um, any resurfacing to that road? And I know that this is, you know, probably a long time. I know that curb and gutter was put in on Curry, the, uh, the first block of Curry, and nothing on the on the second block. But the second block of Curry has all of the new development. So, do we have anything in your plan of uh, anything in t in terms of paving? or a suggestion or a, a yeah. timeline of that? It was to be a local improvement to get the payment done, but the, I guess the, it wasn't an official decision, but we wouldn't start that process until all of the buildings or properties were built on. And so that last property, last three properties are still there. And, okay, and just in regards to why, what was the thought process with putting curb and gutter on <coughs> the first, hundred or the first block was that what were the intentions there if we weren't intending to yeah that was done several years far ago. far before my time I'm, I'm not completely positive why they would put the curb and not the asphalt but uh i'm guessing they had some sort of drainage issues or okay things that don't really answer that question fair enough further discussion all in favor it's carried. 7.2. Uh, 7.3. So, uh, council report. We'll <coughs> start with council Gray tonight. Yeah, the seven services had a uh, grand opening on Wednesday. I didn't get there, but it was there. Um, they've now moved into new space. It's great. The two um, guys that are coming in for regular refer Union. Union, that's right. And the baby. Um, so um, and I was away so I don't have a lot else to report. That's my issue. But uh, we have to we have to set up a time for uh, the foundation and this council other than me to talk about um, being beneficiaries in the state and uh, we have some other discussions for another time. Those are both where I won't be in this chair, I'll be out there. Okay. That's just set up times. I'm not appropriate for here. That's it. Okay, thank you. Councilor White. Uh, just an issue that can relate to town in, in the past, the uh, Chicago West. At that time, I, I don't suggest removing the shit again, that's up to them. Uh, we talked about aerating a lake in the, in the, in the in this area of the Swan Valley. And from an economic perspective, we're getting so much feedback. There's 
huge dollars going into the southern part of Russell Robin area for Americans coming up to fish specialized species. So from an economic development perspective, I would encourage council to have any ideas of landlocked lake is important because they're worried about introduced species. So they want, if they put a specialized species in there like bass, rock bass, they don't want them to get back into the into the water system. So I'd encourage the community as a whole, if they have a place that they think we could use to uh, introduce a, a special species, we would love to talk to them, which would help the valley. I met with the Safe House uh, team again on the 18th. Very persistent ladies, and uh, they're optimistic, and they're hoping that your worship, you've had a chance to send a letter to the Minister of Health relative to the wonderful things they do. Uh, Swan Valley Outdoors, as you are aware, they have purchased, uh, it may be installed by now, a projector and screen for the Veterans Hall, Veterans Community Hall. And their dinner is coming up on the 19th, if anyone is interested, I certainly can get some tickets. On the 24th, uh, Mr. Kroll, myself, and others met with the developer for a potential land development. I'm suspecting there'll be discussion on later in camera, I'm going to guess. We should be talking about it regardless as a council. Is, is. And on the 25th, I went to Prairie Mountain Health uh, meeting in Dauphin, and a concern for our valley specifically is dialysis concerns, and they're hoping to uh, find some solutions so that we have, uh, we have some concerns where people from our valley are leaving the community to stay in Brandon and or to get dialysis treatment. So that's it, thank you. Councillor Friesen, you have a question? Uh, mm, I was just uh, commenting that who he's referring to is here now on dialysis. Okay. Councillor Wintoy. <clears throat> uh, and just a uh, uh, thank you to the Outdoor Association for that screen and, and projector that we were all notified. So thank you for, for that. I know you're part of that committee, Councillor White. Was a part of the meeting with um, the land developer along with Council White and Mr. Kroll. And yes, there are some issues that I think we should all discuss as, as council, but in a, in a different time frame. Um, big kudos to the library who held a, an event a um, couple weekend, last weekend, I think. <laughs> um, had 650 guests over there for a barbecue and other things, so kudos to them. Um, I had a meeting with the Community Foundation who wanted to relay some information to Town Council. I'm not sure if they approached anyone else on Council, but I will share the um, little bits of information that I was instructed to share. Um, the Build 150 fund um, for Manitoba is coming in. and. Um, there's an opportunity for funding, but I thought I read that further down in our agendas, and I'm assuming that's the the same <clears throat> the same thing. Also, it was um, not told what we should do with funds coming from an estate that we have, but it was strongly encouraged that we look at putting some funds or all the funds into the community foundation to grow. So that's just something I'm planting in the year for us to think about when that when that time comes i want to give a, a shout out to rise and the chamber of commerce who have been working extremely close in the last little while who are achieving great things and sometimes we don't all notice those things and they are small steps but it is um, impressive to see those um, those two groups working together simultaneously and achieving results so There'll be more, I'm sure, coming from both of those those groups. But it's for someone who sits cl closely to both of those groups, it's it's awesome to see and how we are progressing as a valley. So kudos to those two groups and the hard ladies at the office there at the chamber office that do a great job for us. I just want to talk a little bit about um, crime as well. There's been an awful lot of noise lately in regards to crime on. In, in Swan River as a whole and um, a lot of social media jabber I guess and 
I just kind of have some suggestions to that because I don't think that airing your laundry out on social media is always the right thing to do. So um, from myself, I guess, to some of those business owners who are um, not very happy with what's going on, I can assure you that crime is not something new to our community or to communities as a whole. But I encourage you to join groups like the uh, Business Consortium, the uh, um, the Chamber of Commerce, and work together as a team to achieve results. I don't think that creating your own groups and, and um, so to speak, in a vigilante way is, is always the right way. I don't also think that giving um, persons who commit the crime the, the satisfaction of being advertised and promoted so just think about those things join as many groups as you can to to learn about information and always report your crimes but the biggest thing is is policing that everybody knows and we only have a certain budget that we can allow for policing and i don't think that that um we want tax dollars to increase that much but by all means if we want to have a delegation of of increasing police we'll listen to you as well so I encourage you to come and see us and talk to us instead of uh, airing things out on social media. Um, other than that, I think that's all I have to, to say. Okay, thank you. Councillor Morio. Um, the only meeting I had this period was uh, the business consortium meeting on September 19th. That's led by Derek Armstrong and other presenters. <laughs> Uh, it was a very good uh, meeting, uh, a couple presentations put on um, by various people and one was by uh, <coughs> Sergeant Steve Henson uh, from the local RCMP detachment regarding the Citizens on Patrol program. Uh, gave us a quick overview of what the program is and things like that, the requirements and how it would fit um, very well with the community here in Swan River. Um, so after the presentations and the stuff, they were wanting to put people's, or people to get the word out to solicit volunteers to join the group and find a leader or an interim coordinator to get the program running uh, for that. So um, so instead of having that sit around for weeks on end with no leadership, I put my name forward uh, to be the coordinator to start off the Citizens on Patrol program here in Swan River. So uh, stay tuned for more information and public meetings and whatnot to uh, get that off the ground but uh, I'll be having some initial meetings with uh, the RCMP and this provincial chapter of Citizens on Patrol and see what the program's like and how we can design it for the betterment of uh, Swan River and its specific needs. Okay. That's all I got. Good, thank you. Councilor Friesen. Um, I had a strategic planning <coughs> meeting with Communities of Care at Super 8 not quite like ours, but it was very interesting. Uh, I went with the Urban Forest crew down to the Arboretum on Maple Leaf Day and planted a maple tree. And good for you for getting uh, Councillor Morio for uh, spearheading that COPP. I think it's a great idea. Um, I'm receiving um, emails from Manitoba 150, so I will. Uh, keep getting them and we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, that's all. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, for me, actually, I've been a little under the weather the last couple of weeks and I thank those who actually stepped in and, and did uh, some presentations for me as well. Um, I did have a chance to uh, go and have a, about an hour long meeting with the staff sergeant and we did discuss uh, a few things including crime and and policing and so forth and like Councilman Tony has said that we do have some you know issues in the community that uh, I don't think that we can turn a blind eye to that we know what's happening and, and we, we are paying attention and we're trying to bring things together um, like Councilman Tony said you know, making sure that we are reporting that and coming together with different groups and all that that we can focus on these instead of trying to work in silos, we're going to work together on, on our common issues and like um, Council Morial has been spearheading the uh, Citizens on Patrol, I think it's a great idea and I have a volunteer to help them with, uh, with that as well and uh, hopefully we can get that off and running because I think it's going to be an important part 
of maybe combating some of these issues that we have in the community. But I know it's far more than just that. There's more to this whole thing, but it takes more than just five minutes of a conversation to discuss that. So, um, but anyway, that's it for basically for me for now. Um, Mr. Crow, do you have anything to add at all? Or? Um, I attended the uh, the uh, Manitoba Municipal Administrators meeting in Brandon. Uh, learned a bunch of new stuff. Got to got to meet some people and things like that. And it's only the second meeting I've ever gone to for that. So um, getting to know some people uh, in, in the valley and as well as in the heartland. Um, also attended the business consortium. Um, probably one of the most productive meetings that we have. And uh, I think I mentioned that to you, uh, Mr. Mayor, that, uh, that it would be would be a really good one for the uh, for the council to be attending any any councilor that could. <coughs> um, what else? I attended the uh, annual meeting at the uh, museum. So there was like ten of us there, and it was good. Enjoyed the museum. So. Good for, you. Lord, no. there you go. Good for you. Getting involved in the community. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And uh, what else was there? I, I, I can't remember. I'll, I'll have it in my monthly report sure. during the next yeah. week or so. All right, well, thank you very much. Okay, moving on to 8.1. Resolved that the building permits 7319 to through 7619 with a total estimated value of fifty-eight thousand dollars be received. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Councillor uh, Lentoni. Discussion. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Whereas section 326 of the Municipal Act provides that a municipality may impose supplementary taxes and subsections 306 and 306.1 provide that a municipality may cancel reduced taxes upon receipt of assessment alterations uh, from Manitoba Assessment Services. Therefore, be it resolved that the assessment alter alterations made by Manitoba Assessment Services on September the 17th, 2019 be made to the 2019 property and business tax rules with the resulting increases totaling $90.44 and the reductions totaling $331.29. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Councillor Morio. Discussion? Councillor Gray? Okay. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Uh, here we have a resolution from Canada 150. It's not complete, but uh, see what we put in here. Resolved that the town of Swan River apply for the Canada 150 funding partnership for opportunity to help fund. Sorry, to help fund. Uh, I guess you're looking as yet yeah, no, Yes. So we don't even have a anything resolution. in there. No, it's it's after discussion. If you make a resolution, then. We can go to work and try to apply for money. So we just leave that like that there as a, as a questionable for it's 2020. Okay, so that's moved by Councilor Lentoni, second by Councilor Friesen. Discussion. Councilor Lentoni. Do we have any projects that have been approached, um, Councilor Friesen, that or that you know of at this time? <coughs> uh, nothing so far. What's the dead end for our What's the dead end for our It's, uh, I have it here. November 12th. November 12th. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Cole, you had a comment? Yeah, the reason I put the, the motion in there, the uh, resolution in there, was because at uh, a previous meeting, I think it was suggested that uh, maybe the money go toward something that already exists, like the uh, like the roundup or whatever, so that we don't get hooked on funding something that we really can't afford to fund once the grants are going and stuff. So that's that's the only reason I put it in there because I thought maybe so Councillor uh, Lentoni and the Councillor Gray. There was um, and just 
not anything official, but I think that there was some um, talk of upgrading um, the Jack Brown area in terms of a new canteen and something for baseball. I think that we should definitely partner and grants are always great when we partner with more than one. We could also chat with the chamber as well. I think that there, there's some information there that they're gathering. Um, that's my suggestions. All that comes are great. We'll I'll, I'll, I'll let you to, uh, to uh, CEO Crawl. Uh, CEO Crawl. I, I expect he's going to respond to that with the whole capital. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, so I read the manual today and uh, we can't do anything capital. It has to be all just for project. hiring people in to entertain or to put something on for the community. It's really a celebration grant. It's not really a build anything grant. They exclusively put that in there that there's no material or labor or anything can be paid for. Council Morio, Council Ventoy, and the Council Friesen. Um, just deferred, I wasn't. Oh, okay, you still want your question. Okay, go ahead. So what I'm going to suggest, and, and uh, it seems to me obvious that our largest single event is the Northwest Roundup Exhibition. But we have a, a, a council who's connected to the agriculture <coughs> side. Perhaps the best plan would be to say to them, what is it we would do that would be the best thing that we could do for 150? Come back with a plan from them and say, this is what we're going to do. Maybe, for instance, put on because you know, we used to have huge stars come in and have an event, have a, a concert during the rodeo. That might be an event. Maybe we should have it a day longer. Maybe we should have something on the Sunday night, you know, fireworks or. or but first one, I think um, I don't think there's any doubt what the largest event in the community is. Um, I think it's what we're known for. And I, I think if we're going to partner with somebody, if, and our inclination was already to say we're going to partner with somebody, that would be the kind of thing that we would partner with. That's, that's my view. And I, and I I don't feel comfortable just charging him and saying this is what we're going to do and saying to the air pulse, it's like, well, you know, we don't really care what you want. We've already decided what we're going to do for you. I, I'd much rather they say this is what we think we should do. Okay, Councilor Moore. Yeah. Uh, so two things. Um, first, can we pass the resolution with the question marks on that without a definite? I don't think we're passing a resolution. Oh. It was just a proposed resolution. <coughs> okay. You could take it or leave it. And it was really just a, an opening to discuss what you want to do with the with the you know the grant. Okay, uh, perfect. The my second thing. Resolution in there, so if we left the table and there was a decision made, then we could actually go go ahead and act on it. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, so my second point was to table it, but if we insist for discussion, then it's fine. Okay. Councillor, yes. Tony, Friesen, and Gray. Okay, so just to be clear, these are the grant that I was talking about with the Community Foundation is completely different than this grant that we're looking at right here. So the Community Foundation, so I'd like to see another resolution put in for applying for the Community Foundation grant as well. That's the Build 150 where they're looking for bricks and mortar and this one is more for entertainment or that sort of thing. So I just want to count everybody else to be clear as well that now that I see this, this is not the grant that I was talking about in my report. The grant that I'm talking about is the Community Foundation one which Mr. Kroll is adding in a resolution <laughs> for that is a bricks and mortar to build something or whatever. And then this one's for entertainment. So yes, I agree with all of that, that we should, um, for at least the community foundation for the bricks and mortar, we should work with other organizations that do require something, whatever that may be, and then entertainment for whatever um, case that would be. So I'd like for us to do some homework and feedback with, uh, with both of those. Okay. So two resolutions as well. Okay, good, thank you. Councilor Friesen. Uh, we've kind of tossed around uh, the idea of perhaps having entertainment down at the Kidsman stage every weekend in uh, July and August. And I don't know if uh, that would cost money to have people come and entertain. It would probably cost uh, arena staff to make sure that the hydro is hooked up and all that kind of stuff. So that's, that's just something that's rolling around up here. 
Um, the other question is, if we apply for an entertainment type grant, can we still apply to Canadian Heritage for July 1st? Uh, in the manual, it didn't say we, you would be excluded from anything. It's just that uh, any organization can only apply for two grants. With this, it didn't say you would be excluded from any other grants in, in winning it. So. We can look into that. Yeah. Maybe we should have clarity on that for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure, because it probably is happening soon. We missed, I missed out on it last year, so I'm thinking it might be outside. outside. So are you going to look at that school or, or, or that or uh, single it? Yeah, me and I would do that. Okay. The heritage one? The heritage one. Yeah, well, even I haven't read through the eligibility. Oh, the other one? Okay. Councilor Gray. I think um, Mr. Cole was ahead of me. Well, I was just building a resolution on the fly. I just wanted to recycle your screens to see if that would be an acceptable resolution for the uh, Bill 150. What does it say? I'm winding down. Uh, is there, like, can you share yours with Councillor Gray? No, because he's checking the checks. <laughs> <laughs> Councillor Light? Nope. No, you can't Jack, share your screen. Can you share your screen with Councillor Gray, please? Oh, of course I would. Got to charge your battery, sir. Uh -huh. You want to go somewhere else? Yes. What you want to do is go to. Uh, okay. <laughs> is it now under management? Oh, I, I refresh. refresh. That should be fine, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Now we're in trouble. Don't you have a good point that here? Uh, what do I know? At least technologically. So, so go the, over the, the other resolution, we're just, it's just going to be on the screen. Hey, I'll bring the second resolution back once. Uh, okay. Because there is a. Well, more than likely, we may table that one, anyways, right? Yeah. So that's what I mean. Yes. I can just bring it back another. Because that's what we're talking about right now. Yeah. Okay. I'd like it to say. Sir Wintoli, sorry. I'd like it to say projects in the or with brackets around an S in the event that there's more than one sure. project that we could <coughs> utilize funds for. So before we get to that bill 150, let's maybe finish up on the other resolution that we've been discussing. And if we, if, if councils finish discussing or talking about it, then if somebody wants to. Uh, make a motion that we should table it, then we should table it and we can further discuss it at the committee of the whole or whatever. Yeah. Just for general interest, I'm going to Just for general general information, there's an email floating around from uh, several committees in town um, inviting uh, people to a meeting uh, to discuss the uh, you know, total 150. Uh, partnerships, so we we'll try to see if we can get together and more projects moving we'll forward. So, uh, you, myself, or someone from the council should be attending those meetings. I'm sure. Who's doing it? When? Um, I think it'd be, uh, uh, I'll get Patty to give me a call because I know Patty is on the list. I can attend them as well. Okay. Councilor Gray. Well, it's just great to say that in terms of both, I, I'm a little really comfortable with blanket kinds of resolutions. I, I honestly would prefer that we say this is what we're going to do and so we process if we, uh, I, I love the idea of talking to the community foundation and saying what is it we could do in town, what's our priority, but I, I, I'm not much be better on discussion about that, but I'm not much for doing things on the fly. I, I go pretty slowly and like to process stuff. And so my preference on both of those would be to defer them either to the next county, the next week of the whole, have a full discussion about them, and then have a, a meaningful resolution that says we are going to do the thought, we're going to apply for the following things, we can have the resolutely grant applications ready, we can say here's our grant application, do you guys like this? Yes, and, and that, that should go through <coughs> as quickly as our other resolutions have gone through this evening when we do that. So that, my, my, my motion for lack of a better word is to table both of those resolutions to the either and, and I'm open to whichever I'm going to suggest committee the whole is the most logical place but uh, I'm open to it being to the next council meeting or to the 
uh, November council meeting, either one of those would be fine. November's a little tight. It just gives us more time to come to. November's tight in terms of getting the application in. It just gives us more time to to uh, discuss to discuss to uh, collaborate with other people. That's really what it means. But either any of those. So um, I, I'm open to my seconder suggesting which of the three places we put it to. Okay. So we 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 haven't read the second resolution well, yet, but I do only do agree one with the first time. one. Yes, that if you want to table that one, then you can. If Councillor um, well, Gray has made that motion, so and I'm suggesting to be the whole. Yeah, and I and I would agree that that would be probably the best place. So we will table that. What would the motion to table? Okay. All in favor. Okay, so we have a table then. 8.21, I'll read the resolution and we can do the same thing. Resolve that the town of Swan to apply for the Bill 150 funding partnership along with the Community Foundation opportunity to help fund project or projects uh, in the, for the 2020 year, I guess that should be. Moved by Councillor Greg, second by Councillor Mantoni. Okay. Discussion. Uh, I will again move that we table that resolution to the committee of the whole. Okay, second by Council Morio. All in favor? It's carried. Okay, so that'll be moved on to the uh, committee of the whole. Councilor. I just have one thing to add in, into that. The Manitoba 150 meeting, just to let it, well, the rest of council know, is scheduled for Wednesday, October 9th, 10.30 a.m. at the Westwood Inn. Please RSVP to Stacy or Yvonne at the Chamber Office, 734-3102. All right, I will not be able to attend. I will be in Winnipeg at the time. We got some mass email, wasn't it? It was a mass email. I didn't get that email. So just okay. for those of you. Yeah. <coughs> at the Westwood, you see. Yeah. Or contact Ms. Hankelman here. Okay. As well. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, 10.1. We resolve the council's polls be hereby approved for payment. General council <laughs> check number 24976 to 25091 for a total of $687,997.48. Check number 24985 voided due to having a credit on account. And check number 25053 voided due to bill already paid by Visa. Payroll account checks number 4525 to number 4533 for a total of $105,360.53. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Councillor Vintoni. Discussion? Councillor Morio. Uh, check number 25071 <coughs> to Northern Specialties for Line Stripper Plywood Boats. Smith. Is that supplies for the uh, rec center at the arena? Or that's the public works. Uh, that is public works. Two five which sorry? Two five zero seven four, September twenty sixth to Northern Specialties. Yeah, we did a uh, RFP for a new line scraper because ours. Yeah, that one. and then so the rest is just inventory. Why with bolts and? Oh well, yeah, yeah. That you know what? That could be wreck the rest of that story. So it's a catch-all invoice to go with Definitely, well. definitely. Yeah. I would have to look at the appeal to see who's out of the rules department. Okay, further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? That's carried. 10.2. Resolve that the financial statements for the eight months ending August 31st, 2019 be adopted as received. Moved by Councillor White. Second by Councillor Wentoni. Discussion? Councillor Gray. I just want to comment how well I think uh, staff and everyone are doing in terms of presentation of the material. Again, it's, I've always been happy with the way Terry presented stuff, but um, we seem to be on track. Everything, you know, the expenditures are what they are. I mean, it's not like we can not do business, but everything is within budget. We're, we're moving along pretty well. I think I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty happy, I would say, which is maybe unusual for me. <laughs> okay, thank you. Councillor Tony. I would um, have to agree with <coughs> Councillor Gray's statements. I know that Terry puts in a lot of 
Mr. Ganita puts in a lot of work and effort into what he does and, and kudos to him for for presenting all that information so easily for us and, and Mr. Kroll for organizing everything and being the leader of, of the office. So thank you to all of you. For the discussion, Councillor Morial. Um, for Mr. Kroll, um, how are we doing on the uh, tax collections? Do we, do we know roughly like what percentage has been paid up yet and stuff like that? Or? Uh, no, I haven't talked to Terry about that. Um, I know the, the rush is over, so the vast majority of the taxes are in. And Terry hasn't been a, in my office yelling at me, so I'm taking the people to pay me. So. Is it, it, it just started today, correct? Or is it? It, it has, yes. <clears throat> Further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's Terry. <clears throat> Resolve that bylaw 8 2019 be a bylaw of the town of Swan River to provide for the expenditure and borrowing of funds for the construction of a new well control building, including programming, monitoring, isolation capabilities, connection to existing well, wells, connection to existing raw water supply, and ancillary. I said that right? Works be read a first time. Moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Gray. Discussion, you have some information there as well. <clears throat> Councillor Morial. Uh, so, Mr. Poole, the number here, that's the, the final figure, or is that? That's the, that's actually the contract amount, the budgeted number of 1.1 million. So, we do have a portion coming out of the uh, utility reserve. The Manitoba Water Services Board gave us 100 and 20, I believe. That exact number I'm not sure on, but uh, around 140, and then 963. Which is what we projected. All in favor? It's carried. 11.2 resolve that bylaw 9 2019 being the bylaw of the town of Swan River to provide for the expenditure and borrowing of funds for construction of the Swan River Centennial Arena, fusion welded floor, including installing temporary mechanical pipe and sand floor with new header system, removal of old header system raising boards, leveling existing floor, installing insulation and vapor barrier and other required works therefore be read a first time. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Councillor Lentoni. Discussion? <coughs> Councillor Gray? I just want to say that I've heard nothing but positive things about the house. Been, like, better than, than it's been ever years. Everybody's extremely happy. Again, not a not a, a totally usual experience that everybody. I've not heard a single bad thing about ice, which is stunning, quite candidly. So this is, and this is exactly what we budgeted. It says not to exceed three hundred. Yeah. That's what we will be budgeted not to, to borrow 300 pair of control project because there's still a lateral drilling that we have to talk about. Is that included in this? Uh, this is an MX 300, the final, that is received the final program from each bed, but I guess that will be determined. It's okay. It's okay, for the discussion, all in favor? It's carried. <coughs> 11.3 resolve that bylaw 10 2019 being the bylaw of the town of Swan River to provide for the expenditure and borrowing of funds to replace the public safety communications fleet net radio equipment be read at first time moved by Councillor Wintoni, second by Councillor Gray. <coughs> Discussion Councillor Gray. These are the ones that we bought because they were on sale and we got an extraordinary discount. That's right? correct, yes. Okay. Councilor Morio? Yeah, they're, they're, they're not bought yet, but the, well, no. the, the, uh, the deal's still there and we're still looking. Oh, okay. I thought we already bought one. No. no that, that, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah, no, okay. they're not bought yet and they're still looking for better deals on the other stuff to make the price go down. Just don't let the good deal go down. Yeah, that one's good for till not, um, till December 2020. It's close to the extended it. So. 
the, the importance of having this is that we're ready in case really? the, when the when the good deal comes that they that they're negotiating that we're ready to buy them. Yeah. Okay. For the discussion, all in favor? It's carried. Mm -hmm. Eleven point four eleven. <clears throat> Resolved that bylaw eleven two thousand nineteen council indemnities bylaw be read a third time and be passed. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Councillor White. Discussion. Councillor Wintoni. Just to be clear, that this is our third reading of this, and there was no increases to our wages as. Per, it's a reduction. It's a reduction um, to our indemnities, um, just so that the public is aware that we did not take advantage um, increases. We actually decreased our indemnities. Okay. Further discussion. It's a recorded vote. All in favor? It's carried. Yes, it is. Okay, 13. Resolved that pursuits of section 1523 of the Municipal Act Council going to committee. I close the meeting to the public. Moved by Councillor Antonio, second by Councillor White. My personal matters, and I also want to add a legal thing there as well if I can. All in favor? Scary. Resolved that this regular meeting of Council <coughs> Matthew adjourned. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Councillor Delorier. All in favor? It's carried. We're adjourned. Thank you very much. You just had to get your name.